Uh, Team Quest here with Chael Sonnen here in Oregon. Chael, former D1 All-American, 197. Talk about that experience as being a D1 All-American at uh, University of Oregon. Well, uh, yeah, being an All-American was great. It was really exciting. Uh, looking back, boy, it was a long time ago now. It's uh, 10 years. I believe it was in 1998. It might have been 99. Um, uh, in Ohio. It's an All-American. And Cleveland State. Cleveland State, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I see your hat there. Yeah, I had a, a really great experience and uh, tried to duplicate it, worked hard. I was a sophomore, um, so I thought there was a promising future, you know, maybe make it in and, and get a championship one of those years, and I uh, never made it back, never got that feeling again, but it was it was certainly worth all the work. It was a lot of fun. Talk about your experience uh, transitioning from wrestling to the MMA game. Well, you know, I think the I think MMA had an impact on my wrestling career. I uh, it was hard to stay focused on wrestling. I wanted to do MMA so bad uh, that I was just ready to go into MMA. And uh, I started practicing that. I was in college, but I was I was taking kickboxing lessons. I was taking private boxing lessons, and I was gearing up for MMA uh, even in college. And I wish that I would have focused a little more on wrestling. I have a little few regrets there. Um, but, yeah, I'm living the dream, as they say. This is what I wanted to do, and I'm, I'm able to do it now and uh, get a little exposure and, and, and stay in shape. But, yeah, the transition was pretty smooth. You know, they're both combat sports. They're both uh, more mental than they are physical. It's just you and another guy. So uh, the transition is very smooth. Okay. Ciao. Talk about what you know. Maybe what's next for you? Are you with any company specifically? I'm with Zufa. Zufa owns uh, the UFC uh, and the WEC. I'm competing right now in the WEC, which uh, Dana White, the president of Zufa, just announced he's sending my weight class to the UFC. So I have another WEC fight uh, September 10th. That'll be for the world championship. Uh, against a Brazilian fighter named Paulo Filo. It's a rematch. Um, I was a 4-1 to one underdog the first time we fought. Uh, I lost the fight, and I will go into this rematch as the favorite. Uh, I'm so, confused. Can you, you know, help just, me out there? Just imagine what, what must have happened in that first fight for that scenario to play out. But there's a lot of controversy around it, the way it ended. Uh, his hand was raised at the end of the night. Uh, and with that said, I was fairly dominant on that evening. Uh, I dominated him. So I'll, I'll go from a 4-1 to favorite who lost to a favorite, 4-1 uh, to underdog to the favorite, uh, even though I was the uh, second place that night. So at any rate, that's coming up on the 10th. Uh, the plan is to win that match, transfer to the UFC with the WEC championship, take on the UFC champion in a champion versus champion uh, setting. Okay. Chell, is there anything you want people to know in the wrestling community and or the MMA community about Chael Sonnen? About Chael Sonnen, no, there's not. In the wrestling community, um, yes, we need uh, a promotional leader. USA Wrestling is failing miserably. That is not me throwing stones. That's just straight talk, and, and someone needs to have real straight talk with them. I am a promoter. Uh, I'm an athlete and I'm a coach, so I'm, I'm the one guy that's involved in every aspect of the sport. Uh, USA Wrestling does not have promotion, uh, and they don't know how to open the door to promotion. Uh, they've got to bring somebody in, they've got to sit down with some people, uh, experts on this topic such as myself. Um, a D1 All-American, uh, you know, an more, established MMA guy. Yeah, you know, that, that those are athletic credentials, and that's one of the mistakes USA Wrestling makes, is they turn to former athletes, hey, let's give an athlete a job. Uh, no, I'm talking about from my business standpoint. Okay. I'm talking about the fact that I have a promotion business, I'm selling out arenas all over the place for high-dollar tickets, and, and USA Wrestling can't sell out the Olympic trials for a $4 ticket. Um, they should be embarrassed. And they're not. They're not in the least bit embarrassed. It's just business as usual and, and they move on. Matter of fact, speaking of USA Wrestling, me and Matt Lindland, Matt Lindland, a former silver medalist for, for the Olympics, we fly out to watch the Olympic trials. We get there and the trials aren't going on. It's a day of weigh-ins. We stick around the next day. The trials aren't going on. Well, it's women's wrestling, but it's advertised it was freestyle. So we go home, our plane tickets have ran out. Well, 
USA Wrestling publicized the wrong dates. They put out the wrong dates for the Olympic trials, and they never corrected it. So we fly into town, you know, we go to expense, we go to trips, time away from our families, go out there, we're excited to watch this. Here we got a silver medalist and myself, and, and the doors are locked because the USA Wrestling put out the wrong dates. I mean, that, that's a major mistake, but it happens all over the place. And again, I'm not attacking USA Wrestling, but something has to be done. University of Oregon just lost their program. Talk about that, because uh, you, you're, you're a former All-American. Well, Talk about that. I mean, how, you know, how does that hurt you? I mean, does that bum you out, obviously? Yeah, you know, it, it hurts inside. You, you put a lot of work into that, and, and in wrestling or, or any amateur sport, uh, that's all you get. You, you get memories, and that's just the truth. And we work very hard uh, to, to try to have these good, positive memories. So, yeah, when it gets, when it gets taken away, you know, life goes on, of course. Uh, but there's frustration with the people that allowed it to happen. Um, the University of Oregon went away without a fight, uh, for at least. Do you find a, a big problem with that yourself, personally? I find a problem that, yes. It, it, to, to explain the whole story of what, what truly happened there, uh, we need a lot of time, but it's very frustrating. And, and the, the current management that, that's in place uh, let it go. They, they simply didn't, didn't put up a fuss whatsoever. Uh, they both took jobs with the university, you know, to do the math from there. And, and they went quietly, didn't they? Oh, they could, they went silently. There, there's a difference in quiet and silence. They went silently. You couldn't find a press clipping anywhere. Go to Google right now and search for a press clipping. You won't see one quote uh, from any, any sitting coach anywhere. Uh... And that's tough to swallow. Arizona State, a powerhouse team uh, with a powerhouse uh, uh, financial donor, gets held hostage uh, for eight days or seven days. Um, I know, think it might have been ten. It might have been a ten little days. over a week, nine days, maybe. I yeah. don't know. And, you know. and this is a horrible setting, a horrible precedence. But as much as it's happening, nobody is being proactive. Where is the promotion of wrestling? Uh, Flow Wrestling is single-handedly stepping forward and, and trying to promote the sport. Flow Wrestling... Wait, wait, wait. wait. You're not just saying this because I'm here interviewing you? Uh, well, you know, you are what reminds me of it, is, is that here we are sitting here doing this. But, you know, in truth, and I, I need to be careful because I don't want to sound like I'm throwing stones. If I do that, people quit listening. I'm just a disgruntled guy. That's not what's going on. I'm being very objective and just straight talking. Uh, you know, you've got one site out there, Flow Wrestling, that's going all over and trying to promote the sport. We've got personalities right now. Ben Askren is possibly the greatest sports personality out there. Uh, possibly. You, you could throw a few guys up there with him. Um, and, geez, all, nobody knows who he is. We know who he is. You know who he is. People watching this video, nobody knows who he is. And, and nobody's got behind him and marketed him and pushed him. Uh, but America would jump behind that guy so fast. He's he's funny. He's 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 arrogant and brash, yet doesn't come across as a jerk, which is the ultimate genius recipe. You know, whoever can do that in pro wrestling, Vince McMahon makes the biggest star ever. It's the same thing. He he he's got an ability to be arrogant and brash and not come across like a jerk. America would embrace him so quickly. Uh, and the truth is, nobody even knows he exists. So. He's got the hair, the look, the chin, yeah. the whole nine yards. He's got everything. He's out there promoting himself, putting the chin in China. That That's hilarious. That's good marketing. He's doing it. Where is USA Wrestling? I mean, they, they can't open the door uh, to promotion. They just simply can't. Uh, again, you take a guy like me. I'm selling out arenas uh, with guys that aren't... Uh, don't have the backgrounds that, that Ben Askren has or the Olympic. I mean, any college in the Cormier. country, anybody you want. Well, every college out there, all of them. Uh, you know, you've got a couple guys in this country that promote the sport. Cale Sanderson does a good job. He sells out arenas. Tom Brand sells out arenas. Uh, and none of them are, the leader is Jay Robinson. Because not only does Jay sell them out, but he works to sell them out. In Iowa, you can sell out. In Oklahoma, you can sell out from the tradition. Uh, Minnesota, he came and informed it. He's on the radio. He's on TV. He's on print. He's on billboards. He runs it like a promotion. He's got the, um, the uh, probably the most successful camp system. Sure. Besides Sure-Tow. Yeah, sure. And, you know, take the University of Oregon. The athletic director comes forward and he says, look, we've got four high schools in the city of Eugene. Every single high school has a bigger attendance than you guys have at the college. Uh, 
he uses this as evidence to cut the program. That's a tough argument to beat. You never want to side with the athletic director who's going to cut the sport that you love. But he comes forward with an argument that's very hard to beat. And here we, you know, we've got we've got a head coach, we've got an assistant coach, we've got an assistant to the assistant coach, we've got PR guys, we've got you know they got a whole team. Uh, they got good money, good facility, good everything, and not one of them foresaw that as a problem. Not one of them found that embarrassing that they had less than 200 people in attendance. Uh, that's really odd, and and that's happening all over the country. And then these wrestling guys come forward and they're shocked. Hey, they're picking on wrestling. Well, how about we do something and, and cut them off there? How about we take these arguments away and guys just simply don't do it? I think you said everything that a lot of people yeah. want to say and a lot of people have a hard time, you know, I think believing the reality that wrestling's not doing anything to keep itself around. Sure. Is there anything else you want people to know? I mean, that that's, that's yeah. I, think, I think you said it, but hey, anything else? Yeah, you know, no, there's really not other than... You know, I, I would let USA rest. You know, if Rich Bender's watching this right now, he's either going to go, geez, Chael's smart, and I should give him a call. Uh, or he's going to say, ah, I didn't know what he's talking about, and he's, he's going to discard this. Uh, call. Uh, call me. I'll, t I'll tell you what I mean. I'll go into detail. I'll give you a business plan. I mean, they're out there. They've been done before. All the USA Wrestling needs to do is copy it. Uh, I don't want paid for my time. I'm not trying to solicit something here. I'm, I'm trying to be helpful. So... Somebody in the wrestling community needs needs to come forward and say, look, what do we need to do? How do we need to, to uh, draw some exposure to ourselves? What What is Zufa doing? What are these other guys doing? You know, Real Pro Wrestling made a big attempt and and very grateful for their efforts. Uh, you know, they had some elements missing. Uh, they, didn't, they didn't follow the plan that's already been It's drawn. right. The, the template's already been drawn. The template's gotta... already drawn. You just got to follow it. And... Uh, you know, some, somebody needs to come forward. Jay Robinson can't carry the sport by himself. Kale Sanderson can't do it by himself. You know, John Smith, uh, Tom Brady, they, they need help. Four guys can't do it on their own. Uh, and it's out there. Sounds like Chael Sonnen might be one of the people who wants to help carry the sport. Sure, yeah, you know, I would like to. I don't have an avenue to do it. I don't have an audience to do it. But I, I could certainly be a consultant uh, and, and bring people in. There's no question. That's... Uh, something I do very well. So there's there's a lot of guys out there like me, but uh, again, USA Wrestling needs to approach them. All right, Chael, man, we are definitely going to be watching you in the WEC. Hopefully, we can see that 185 title get brought back to the uh, Team Quest here, and uh, we'll be checking you out. And hopefully, somebody gives you a call. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, September 10th, diplomacy has failed. Me and Paula are going to have to fight this one out. <laughs> You know, if he wants right. to go home, we'll forget this whole thing. But if he comes out there, we're going to have to fight. All right, Chael. Thanks for your time and your insight, man. Thanks, buddy.